Hi, this is Farooq Fahim. In this video, I'll start up an owner's controller and I'll go over the interface uh, of the controller, both the CLI and the graphical user interface that the controller has. Now to do this, I'll use uh, Mininet to create a forwarding plane with three switches, S1, S2, and S3. There's a host connected to each of the switch so we can generate the traffic and initially we won't be able to pass any traffic because these are open flow switches. There's no router or switch logic in these switches. Then I'll start up Onos and the switches will connect to the controller over the open flow channel and the controller will then uh, be able to collect the topology information, discover the topology. There's also out of the box a reactive flow application running which will enable a host to pass traffic to each other across the network. So I have these tools uh, on a virtual machine. So let's go to the VM to get a hands-on experience. So here's the VM that I have and where I have Mininet and Onos controller. So let me go to the uh, directory where I have my custom topologies and I'm going to be using and we'll start Mininet. Now my assumption is that you already know Mininet. If you don't, that's not a big deal, but it's very important that uh, you know how to use Mininet. It's uh, basically an indispensable tool if you're trying to learn and tinker around with SDN. There's a lot of good material uh, on the web I just Google it. Very good tutorial on the Mininet site. And you'll find a lot of stuff. We'll give it a Mac option so that the post will not have some random Macs. Uh, that makes it harder to follow. And what else? Yes, controller. Controller is remote. All that means is that Mininet doesn't have to instantiate uh, a reference implementation of a controller within it. You know, I'll be separately starting Onos controller. We won't be using the controller that is part of Mininet. So there we have our network. There are three hosts, H1, H2, H3, switches S1, S2, S3. We have six links between H1, S1, H2, S2, H3, S3, and then each pair of the switches. These are, of course, open flow switches, and we should we won't be able to ping anything, but let's just give it a try. And as expected, uh, pings are not going through, so we can break that. I mean, these are open flow switches, so it, it, they have the brains are not there. The brains are in the, the controller. So let's start up the controller. Let me open another terminal window and. Let's see if I can make it wider. All right, so let me just collapse this one for now. I have uh, Onos Cardinal release, which is version 1.2.2 running here. So this is a fresh install and uh, I built it just a little while ago. And the command to start up is OK clean. So here it is, Onos console window. Uh, it takes a little while for it to load up or to build the applications and then uh, activate some of the applications. We can see the list of all the different application bundles running. The entire architecture is, is very modular. There's separation of concerns and uh, it's all good stuff. Uh, some of these are running really uh, the core, core pieces. Some of them are uh, the provider pieces and of course some of them are applications that are running in the northbound interface where we are working with. 
So all the CLI commands, they are launched in the uh, Onus controller as application bundles. And we can, uh, you know, we can build our own little CLI command if we would want to and launch it as a bundle. It will, you know, and install it. Uh, it will show up over here uh, and we can then use it. But here we'll just use out of the box stuff. So let's start with some of the commands that are CLI commands that are available to us. The first one is devices and uh, the three switches have been discovered by the controller. There's switch one, S1, which is, you know, that's the, the lo this whole thing is the ID for that switch. And then this is uh, switch number two, S2, and then uh, S3, that's the ID. The controller also knows what the topology is, the connectivity. We, if we say links, we'll see there are six links. These six links are actually six unidirectional links. Uh, these are, you know, these are the links between the switches. So switch one, port two, and here's switch three, port two, and the flip side, the other other direction is right here. Uh, the destination switch three, port two becomes the source for this link. Uh, or it's it's basically what it's showing is the direction of the flows, but they're representing three uh, bi-directional links between the switches. Uh, we have not, uh, the controller has not discovered hosts because hosts are not open flow devices. No traffic has been passed between them. Once we start, uh, once they start generating traffic, the controller will discover them and we press host, we'll be able to see that. Uh, another important command is flows. When we press flows, we see that here's, you know, device, and then that's your, that's S3, switch three. It has five rules in it. Uh, so by default, Onos puts um, the application out of the box that are running. It will put five flows in the switch, in every switch. So if we go up, you know, the here's switch two, these are the five, uh, you know, Rule count, uh, flow rule count is five, and here are the rules, and same thing for switch number one. And if you look uh, up close, you know, here's the ID, this is the selected criteria, ETH type 800, which is IPv4 traffic, and the treatment is uh, send it to the controller. This is the next flow with a different ID, 806 is the ETH type, which is ARP traffic, once again, treatment is sent to the controller. Actually, all of them, the controller has been found. And it's basically saying when you see ARP traffic, send it to the controller, basically punt everything to the controller. You can see the priority for IPv4 traffic is pretty low. So the expectation is that if there is a rule that's there in the switch and it's the match is found, it will it will take care of it. And this is the low priority. So eventually, if nothing, if, if it's not found, it will be uh, sent to the controller. Uh, the packet will be sent to the controller. So then the controller can figure out what to do with it and come up with new flow rules and add that to it. So now that we have the controller running, the uh, topology has been discovered. Some basic uh, flows have been put into the switches. Let's try to ping it again. And here we are, the pings are going through, the traffic is flowing between H1 and H2. And if we go back up to the controller, so let me then I'll collapse this and do flows again, we see that switch number three, it's not affected. It's uh, It has still five flow rules, but if we go up and look at switch number two, it has seven rules. So two new rules have been added. And it's basically, if you look at the selected criteria, the import uh, is this, and the, this is the source, uh, Ethernet. So it's coming from uh, host one. Its destination is host two. Uh, and the treatment for that is to send it out on port number three. So that's, you know, this, this has been added. Before it was every, punt everything to control it. But now we have this uh, new rule and the, the other direction uh, is the seventh rule. 
added to this and then if you look at switch number one that also has seven rules so host one was connected to switch one host two was connected to switch two both of these switches uh, are processing the traffic and for that they have the flow rules in there now that's great we have the traffic flowing between the switches and what's making the traffic flow that's the reactive uh, flow application that's running on this on the controller if we FWD. So that's the Onos app FWD. I mean, that's this is the uh, this is the application that's that's running. It's active, and that's what's enabling the traffic to flow through the network. As the name suggests, it's reactive. So after the packet arrives at the switch, switch doesn't know what to do, and at that point, controller gets involved, figures out what to do with their traffic and then the flow rules are sent down to the switches. The other, other uh, application would be proactive flow or normal flow. Uh, I, that's not out of the box. There are pros and cons to each one of whether it's reactive or proactive. But for this simple network with a single broadcast domain, one uh, network segment, all the, all the hosts are on a single network segment, the traffic is flowing so that's that's great let's start up the uh, the browser so we can see the graphical user interface uh, this is the console so we are seeing the CLI and it's uh, the controller is running on the local host so that's the address, localhost 81, uh, 81 is the port, Onos UI, and if I go there, I can see the switches that I have. Uh, this is switch number three, I highlighted that, a little panel comes up and, and gives me some basic information, you know, what, what version of OpenFlow is running, what kind of a switch it is. So if I, I, I can, I can like drag it and let's make it look like the, the picture in the slide that I had so that's uh, switch 3 and here's switch 1 so it's it's in the right place and this must be switch number 2 we can bring that over here and pin it over here there alright now if I hit the H key that will toggle the visibility of the host so if I I'm gonna hit H there and I can see host one and host two. And the reason I can see host one and host two is because there is traffic. We are pinging, host, host one has been pinging host two, and there is traffic between them. We don't see H3 because it has still not been discovered by the controller. There is also a collapsible menu with little icons to see different things. But the one that I find very helpful is either a forward or a backward slash that brings up this quick help uh, so you can toggle this quick help by hitting one of the slash keys and we can or dismiss it uh, with the escape key but H is the command that I use to do host visibility if I press F I can see the link flow so let me uh, take this out I'm gonna press slash again it's gone and let's uh, I'm gonna press F and now when I press F I can hover over the switch and I can see the flow going across this switch it's uh, coming from host 2 going to host 1 and there there it is so I can if I highlight this switch and then I hover over uh, switch number 2 I can see you know well, the entire path light up in yellow and the traffic is going between host host one and host two let me just go ahead and bring up host number three also so let's ping h1 ping h3 and h3 pops up there it is all right so 
so that's uh, you know I mean that's uh, that's host number uh, three that's our topology uh, we can see that the traffic is flowing uh, let me show one very useful feature and this shows you know how this will give you some uh, the idea about how the uh, how the application bundles are are running actually let me open this window so we can see that the pings are going through and I can without stopping Onos I can stop a specific uh, application bundle so we had Onos app forward so Onos app FWD and once when I stop this when I uh, issue this command we'll see that our pings that are going through they will stop so basically the flows expire and uh, they're dropped from the switches from the switch and after that all the traffic that comes in it's punted to the controller and this application has a stopped it controller doesn't have the logic to know what to do and the pings have basically stopped we did not i did not have to bring down onos restart it or do anything like that so that's the really cool thing about this carafe runtime the way the, the controller has been built is that uh, all these features come as application bundles they can be while onos is running a, a new application brand new one can be installed without stopping it an existing one can be stopped uh, we can start onos and when when i do this we'll we'll see that or, or let's do this let's so you know there's a whole bunch of packet loss uh, pings were not going through and let's ping again h1 to h2 and we can see that uh, pings are not going through because the reactive flow application bundle has been stopped and I'll go ahead and start it again and there are our pings started and so I mean the application starts up and traffic starts flowing so that's really cool so good stuff i think that's all i wanted to show now uh, there's one v incredibly important concept uh, called intent framework and to understand how the applications will running on top of the controller will interact on northbound uh, interface with the controller Intent framework is is incredibly important. It came out in the first release of Onos. It was one of the things that really truly impressed me. But that's a topic of uh, for some other time. I guess what I'll do now is just to stop Mininet. We can exit out. And for good measure, let's just clean it up. So it's clean, and we can stop. I think it's shut down is also but logout should give us the prompt back. So that's it. I hope this was useful and it will encourage you to get started with Onos.